historic day for Iran's relationship with the West. After more than 20 months of an on-again, off-again talks, negotiators today finally announced a nuclear deal. The 100-page pact lays out, in painstaking detail, a plan to limit Iran's nuclear capabilities. But not everyone is pleased. The deal is getting ripped apart by lawmakers and other world leaders who feel it doesn't do enough to prevent a nuclear Iran. The agreement sharply limits Tehran's nuclear ability to more than a decade in exchange for lifting crippling economic sanctions in the country, and a long-standing arms embargo on Iran would also be lifted over time. Israel blasted the agreement, and lawmakers are threatening to derail it. The world is a much more dangerous place today than it was yesterday. It's going to hand a dangerous regime billions of dollars in sanctions relief while paving the way uh, for a nuclear run. But the president, who insists the deal is built on verification, has already vowed to veto any attempts to stand in the way of the agreement. Senator Jim Risch is a senior member of the Senate Foreign Relations Committee and issued a scathing statement saying the Obama administration violated every red line ever drawn about Iranian nuclear nonproliferation. Risch says it will spark a Mideast nuclear arms race and will abandon our ally, Israel. Risch went on to add that the deal didn't even secure the release of Boise Pastor Saeed Abedini, which he said should be a simple task.